Hello, everybody who listen to me. Uh, today, I am happy to answer on questions connected with uh, integrals uh, and uh, calculus related uh, questions. My name is Oleg Marichev, and I am working in uh, this direction uh, rather professionally uh, more than half century, uh, starting from Belarusian University. Uh, now I'm working 32 years, uh, and uh, this uh, short lecture, and um, I dev devoted uh, to integrals. Uh, let me uh, show uh, some kind of preliminary uh, information about subject. Uh, you know that a lot of people search in literature and handbooks uh, values uh, of uh, integrals um, and could not find uh, them. But uh, I was able to find a rather uh, effective and uh, universal and powerful, powerful algorithm uh, for doing these uh, evaluations. Um, to understand situation, um, I show uh, several preliminary uh, moments. No, if we make uh, differentiation and integration of simplest functions, uh, including only uh, two letters, uh, power function, uh, exponential, uh, a in degree zeta, and uh, z in degree zeta. A derivative uh, evaluates, uh, one moment, uh, I should move a little. Derivative evaluates for each of these, uh, but integral uh, from last function cannot be done. Um, reason of this uh, that uh, result demands to, introdu to introduce uh, more general uh, than elementary uh, or even existing special functions uh, to make value uh, of this integral. It's a, li a situation like uh, we had before with uh, below examples uh, and people introduced and defined R function, uh, exponential integral E, uh, gamma function to variables uh, for pr uh, providing evaluation of such type integrals. Uh, and um, um, if we uh, look on more complicated than these simplest uh, functions, uh, we uh, see that majority uh, of doable integrals uh, represented uh, through so-called uh, hypergeometric uh, type functions. No, for example, uh, this uh, integral. Uh, after evaluation, produce uh, in mathematica uh, hypergeometric one f one regularized function. Uh, but if we take uh, more complicated similar constructions, uh, where instead of t we have t in degree three, we get more complicated answer. <clears throat> and all this. Uh, uh, allow us uh, to think that there exists very uh, common generic class of function where we can make integration successfully. Um, I will make a short trip uh, around uh, integrals uh, which can be found in literature and people sometimes does not know what to do with them. Um, and uh, help, try to get help with mathematica, but also sometimes cannot 
get help. This is ex example, example uh, from article. Uh, this article, neutrino forces in neutrino uh, backgrounds. Uh, people can find example on page 14. Uh, and uh, the author wrote that they could not relate integral. Uh, after some efforts, uh, I was involved and as a result, get result um, that integral which they want to get uh, is hypergeometric um, 2 F3 function. And here we see verification. Uh, and how I get got this result? Uh, we, uh, as first step, we need to make uh, change uh, variable to make Struve H from more simple variable T. And uh, it brings us uh, to uh, integrals from uh, such construction. And then we see uh, that there exist several uh, several solutions of uh, this uh, solve, uh, and we need uh, to divide uh, interval from zero to one on several portion where corresponding solution uh, varied. Uh, and convenient and integral will be divided on several integrals and result uh, we can get. Um, people uh, who work with mathematica um, should reach this without me, but they did not uh, get uh, uh, these steps uh, somehow. Uh, in many other situations, uh, we have uh, integrals which, uh, no, for example, uh, here, Kepler potential integral, which uh, uh, I took from uh, mention literature. Uh, and this verification was done accurately, and I did not find uh, potential problems uh, here. Everything is okay. Uh, so, integral which uh, was mentioned in this article uh, gives value uh, which is correct. Uh, here, for example, uh, we have expression. Uh, no, I will not. Uh, repeat in details uh, and um, people see uh, that uh, using Mathematica uh, we can uh, verify many existing already uh, values, uh, verify uh, numerically. No, here, for example, uh, I took uh, integral from article and value which presented in this article uh, value here and then verify and you see uh, that values uh, numerically coincide everywhere. But also we can verify um, this new, uh, symbolically using full simplify. Uh, and uh, as a result, we get zero, um, no, what expected. Uh, I went through many articles, you know, for example, here, uh, article uh, and uh, I tried to evaluate several integrals, uh, triple integral here. I could not evaluate in spite of experience uh, of uh, maybe 50 years of work in this area. No, it means that uh, maybe this integral undoable in closed form uh, through existing functions. <coughs> Um, here uh, we have other examples uh, which uh, uh, no, 
looking for upper bound of following it in integrals uh, when n tends to infinity. Uh, and uh, this uh, set of uh, researches, uh, I did not uh, explain detailly, but people who wants to know, uh, they can find in uh, technology uh, in notebook which we present uh, after this. Uh, in this article, uh, we have uh, integral which is uh, f c function. Uh, just verify numerically, uh, it's okay, everything, no problems. And, um, you know, uh, people who discuss this integral, uh, they did not use Mathematica uh, or uh, did not know uh, something uh, because it's rather easy doable integral. Uh, I want to say that some uh, in, in integrals here, for example, also uh, questionable, has uh, had questionable values, which I um, immediately could not find and verify uh, correctness uh, of values uh, that presented in um, article, uh, but maybe uh, somebody from uh, those who interest uh, can continue this research uh, and can uh, go further uh, than me. Uh, here uh, we have also uh, integrals uh, and uh, this integrate um, uh, hypergeometric Gauss in degree two uh, was uh, gotten from Maple, and I was surprised uh, that Maple gave wrong result here. Uh, I verified numerically uh, and uh, find different values. Uh, no, in any case, uh, I don't have Maple to uh, repeat evaluations uh, to be absolutely sure. Uh, but uh, those who listen to me can verify, uh, am I right or not? <clears throat> uh, next example uh, is connected with uh, Mathematica. Now here we have a uh, normal example uh, and uh, Mathematica can evaluate such integral uh, and uh, people who uh, discussed, uh, they did not uh, do uh, this with Mathematica, as I understand. Uh, they did not know what to do. Uh, and uh, here we have new formula, uh, uh, which is indefinite integral. Uh, and uh, as a result, uh, we should get infinite sum uh, including R function. Uh, we can represent this integral uh, through hypergeometric uh, Campe de Ferrier function of two variables, but Mathematica still don't have such functions, uh, but in my plan that we should have it. Uh, functions like Campe de Ferrier analog, uh, hypergeometric regularized PFQ, uh, and uh, function uh, Lauricella D, uh, which extend elliptic pi integral um, or Carlson integrals. Um, I will stop uh, to travel around uh, these articles uh, and will tell um, and show you technology um, which uh, everybody from you uh, can easy repeat uh, with uh, my example, which you see right now, uh, or with other examples. <coughs> this technology uh, based on uh, simple uh, mailing integrals. And 
uh, let's start. Uh, this uh, integrals uh, uh, you know from school time. Um, Euler integral of the first kind, uh, mathematical relates and gives this gamma multiply on gamma divided gamma, uh, and uh, gamma function. Uh, it is second kind Taylor integral, <coughs> and um, also beta. Uh, one more representation beta function. Um, common for these three integrals that we see gamma functions uh, in products or ratio in right side. Uh, there exist uh, a lot of um, gamma uh, functions, a lot of classical functions, uh, which uh, uh, has this structure. As a result, we have uh, rod ratio of product of gamma functions. Um, and uh, we can uh, evaluate integrals uh, if original function like exponential function or this function uh, can be uh, presented through such uh, gamma functions. Um, how to do this? Um, and how many such functions? Below you see list uh, 127 functions. Uh, uh, among them, Bessel function, uh, popular, uh, all almost um, trigonometric, inverse trigonometric functions, uh, hypergeometric, uh, ERF. Uh, Legendre functions and so on and so on. All these functions can be representable uh, through uh, ratio of gamma functions in product. Uh, and all these functions uh, are particular cases of uh, one uh, so-called Meyer G function, which is also case of Fox H function. Uh, so these two functions, Meyer G and Fox H, uh, exist in Mathematica. Uh, Meyer G exists 25 years. It was first functions uh, function uh, which we together with um, uh, Jerry uh, Kuiper implemented uh, to system Mathematica. Um, and um, uh, now we have a uh, huge table of particular cases of Meyer G functions. Uh, and uh, we are working uh, to implement uh, technology which partially already working in mathematical system, but will hopefully work uh, in full, uh, in full complete uh, realization. So let's go uh, more. What is it, Merin transform? Merin transform, it is integral of such type. Uh, function t from t multiply t in degree s minus one, integral from uh, zero to infinity. It is uh, uh, similar like uh, gamma function. Instead f, we can write uh, exponential function uh, and you get gamma function. And uh, this Merin transform, uh, it is uh, equivalent to classical Fourier transform, uh, which uh, we studied in schools, but people did not study Merin transform, maybe by mistake uh, uh, in programs of uh, high schools. Uh, because Merin transform very, very important, sometimes more convenient than Fourier transform. And um, I can show how to convert Merin and Fourier transform each to other uh, on next lectures if they will be. Uh, but now I show inverse Merin transform. It is such integral. 
And also, um, uh, if we uh, apply mailing transform uh, to functions which you see here, this function, this function, and this three function, we produce we produce um, a collection function which you see above uh, this and this and this. These functions uh, is coming. And here I wrote scheme. Um, people uh, should remove constant because constant not interesting. And look, uh -huh. here we have gamma plus s, uh, gamma uh, from plus s plus something, plus something I ignored. And so we have here gamma divided on gamma in both situation uh, plus s. Here we similar have gamma. Here we have product gamma. We ignore uh, uh, this constant. <coughs> and um, we see that uh, gamma plus s and gamma minus s, minus s, uh, minus s plus something. I ignore this. So structure here um, um, uh, is uh, uh, how many gamma function from s uh, and uh, with plus sign or minus sign. Okay, um, before evaluation, uh, integrals, uh, uh, which I mentioned, uh, I show what is it convolution uh, and Parseval equality for mirin transform. Uh, you know that Fourier transform has convolution property similar to this uh, con convolution property and this mirin transform uh, of uh, this convolution uh, similar for Fourier. Fourier transform from convolution, it will be product uh, of uh, images of each function. Uh, here, for mirin transform, we have this formula. It is main instrument. <coughs> if we apply inverse to this equality, apply inverse, we get uh, integral from product. Uh, it is inverse mirin transform transform uh, from product of images. So uh, look again, uh, we need, uh, for example, uh, evaluate integral from product of this function, no, not this, from product of this function and this. Uh, we take image first function, image second function, together we have uh, how many? Uh, three uh, gamma function from S and constant also, constant. Uh, and then we put this inside here and evaluate this integral. Question, how to evaluate this integral? Uh, it is so-called Merlin barnes uh, integral if we see here uh, gamma functions instead uh, Merlin transforms. Uh, and if we see here a lot of gamma functions, this uh, is called Meyer G function. It's, it's looking uh, hor horribly <coughs> function. And when I uh, was student, I uh, could not uh, image that uh, I will work with this professionally uh, and make uh, so many uh, achievements based on this function. Um, then uh, let's continue uh, uh, to evaluate integrals. Um, sub first stage, uh, substitution. Um, so I take uh, structure, we already discussed structure, structure plus plus minus and so on. And then we uh, want to evaluate this integral. Uh, we want uh, to put uh, each function, uh, F1, it is this function, F2, it is this function, uh, and then we can make mirin transform of each function. Uh, after evaluation, 
we get results here. Uh, one moment. Um, result from first, result from second, and then Parseval relation. Uh, we evaluate this Parseval relation. Mathematica can do uh, this equation. Um, and uh, we have we have integral, integral. No, I wrote integrate one to prevent evaluation. Uh, automatically, we'll try to do something. Uh, uh, we need to write uh, uh, inactive integrate instead integrate one. Uh, but if we write many, many times, it's too hard. Uh, and I used uh, integrate one for simplicity and get this result. Then. I am changing, uh, changing. Oh. I am changing. Uh, make some evolution, changing variables, and so on. No, at first uh, we can mention that gamma function, which you see here, uh, is uh, functions with poles. It is uh, um, have uh, it is uh, complex infinity for integer uh, s equal minus uh, one to three. Yes, uh, we can see this from series uh, series gamma function, uh, and this is uh, coefficient before uh, s plus k in degree minus one. And we have symbolical uh, series, which works for symbolical assumptions. And uh, we can evaluate uh, series coefficients uh, and residues, residues coincide with series coefficients. So if you want to repeat me, you see in Mathematica, we have all instruments to do in this. Uh, evaluate independently. Uh, of course, uh, you will have question. Oh my God, what is it uh, residue? And why we need to do such strange operations? Uh, yes, we need to do a uniform uh, one-time special procedure uh, and uh, evaluate <coughs> this integral um, through some of residues. Uh, below uh, you uh, see uh, how I am doing this one moment. Uh, one moment. So we have this equality, integral from right side. It is sum plus sum. Residues I evaluate in poles, uh, which comes from this gamma function and also from these gamma functions. Uh, we have two uh, sets of poles, which goes uh, starting from zero or from minus sigma to left side with period minus one. By this reason, we have uh, 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 residue in points uh, in points this and in points this and uh, some of uh, these residues then we can evaluate residues and make summation of this sum make summation uh, and uh, we can come to result we can come to result result here this result we can verify and it includes uh, someone which in reality inactive star and we uh, can verify already that our integral 
which you remember at the very beginning, is equal uh, to our uh, results. Results, it is after summation uh, of such function. No, I can repeat this uh, relation. It, it, it works fast. Uh, so result, it is this one, and then we substitute uh, and we get uh, uh, to hypergeometric functions. And we reach what we wanted. We can be happy, yes and no, uh, because uh, result should be polished. In sense, this integral uh, should be uh, changed and converted into convenient format for user. And here you see verification. And again, I demonstrate technique um, how to verify, uh, to check result. Uh, and after some efforts, we make uh, changes of variables, uh, instead tau, this one, instead t, this one, instead sigma, this one, and we come to such uh, integral, and then uh, we can compare uh, our uh, integral with uh, existing in literature integral. Mathematica can do this integral, uh, uh, of course. Uh, this integral comes from Mathematica. Uh, we can easily evaluate, but it takes time. Uh, and uh, mm, uh, uh, arise new question. Uh, maybe we need to have generic formula which uh, realize and includes uh, integral from product to G functions here. One G function is an uh, extension of this, other extension of this, and integral from this product of uh, two G functions. Also can be G function, maybe. Yes, uh, and I have such formulas, uh, uh, and at next lectures, if you have interest, I can demonstrate all such formulas, and much more we can derive together uh, these uh, formulas. Sometimes we need to evaluate uh, using Fox because uh, Fox function more generic and I explain why um, we can evaluate uh, through Fox only, not through Meirji. And as a result, uh, we uh, can see, uh, and I made comparison, uh, comparison of three results. Uh, this uh, result, it is n integrate. I change integrate one on n integrate. And then result, which comes uh, from mm, my, together with you, <coughs> constructions, we built like Lego. Uh, we work like Lego uh, constructor. Uh, we uh, constructed value of integrals uh, based on um, components for each function. And you see everything inside. And then uh, we can think about conditions of conversions. And I wrote remark to Mathematica. It is buggy a little uh, situation. Uh, we in Mathematica produce uh, not all set of possible conditions for conversions. Um, explaining, the, I explain. Uh, if we take instead where, for example, I, we have exponential from image uh, value, it is cosine plus I sine, no earlier formulas. In reality, it is um, cosine and sine transforms. And for this, we need an additional condition uh, to add to this set. 
and we lost these conditions. I think we will fix, of course, but you see uh, that uh, we still a lot what to do. And um, uh, how long time I have uh, to show? Uh -huh. Thirty-six minutes. Um, as um, finally, um, I advise you to look uh, at set of integrals. So this integral we just evaluated. If we put here, for example, c in degree two, t in degree two, um, we have more complicated integral. It has more uh, hypergeometrics. And in degree three, we have this with conditions. And so on. We can make trip round, round uh, other integrals. No, for example, these integrals. Um, this integral, Vesel uh, K, here, uh, also uh, complicated functions. Uh, and I took in degree seven, t in degree seven, t in degree two, and evaluated integral. And Mathematica gives this result. Uh, I explained how you can repeat such type results uh, for such type integrals. Of course, uh, it, you will meet difficulties. Uh, but look, if we take the in degree Catalan, no Catalan, it is constant, numeric constant, we cannot do integral. But result I can present. It is Fox H function. <clears throat> it should be here. So we must implement uh, our new level integration uh, to handle uh, such situations. Uh, here we have uh, veil type fractional integrals. Uh, integral from <coughs> c to infinity, um, t in degree two minus uh, c in degree two. And again, we have similar uh, situation. And uh, at last, um, we have integrals uh, which is in reality looks like uh, Han can transform from uh, exponential function multiply on this one. And again, uh, in Mathematica, we have such option which allow to separate um, situation when C, for example, uh, negative positive, negative uh, value from C when uh, C positive integer or real value. Uh, you see answer different. This answer and this different. No, um, I think that um, it's time uh, to try to answer on your questions. Great, you know, like, um, we have a couple questions already in the chat. Um, one user asked, what is the indefinite arc length of x cubed? And another user answered, uh, gave the form of the integral, which I'll repeat to you now, and maybe you could demonstrate how to do it in Mathematica. So the integral in question is integrate square root one plus nine x to the fourth. One. Plus what? One plus nine x to the fourth. Nine. 
x four. Yeah, and the square root of that quantity. Square root from this. Yeah. And what to do? Integrate. Yeah, indefinite integral. What's the problem here? It looks uh, uh, that uh, no problems. Mathematica can do it. Ah, by the way, about history of integration a little. Uh, um, in Mathematica, uh, when I came here 32 years ago, uh, we had version uh, one. Uh, and uh, later appeared version two, Mathematica. And we together with my former PhD student, Victor Adamczyk and Alexey Bocherov started to do this integration, which uh, at that time uh, we can evaluate uh, indefinite integrals by Risch algorithm. Risch algorithm, it means uh, results uh, through special functions uh, did not appear, except R function maybe only. And uh, all this indefinite integration when you see uh, hypergeometric mere G results uh, uh, and uh, indefinite integrals, indefinite integrals basically uh, were done by uh, us at that time and then supported uh, for 10 years by Danny, who presented at last speech, at last time, yeah. Uh, another question, you did mention just now the uh, Riesz algorithm uh, towards the singularity asks, is the algebraic Riesz algorithm fully implemented? No, I believe, um, it was not implemented fully uh, uh, nowhere because uh, in principle impossible absolutely uh, fully implement everything which the developer uh, uh, Bernstein, what his name, no, uh, made this rich algorithm. The same in my situation. My first uh, book uh, was published uh, in 78 years, uh, let me show where it is. Uh, in here. This book. Uh, it's just information about me. Uh, but the uh, book uh, uh, was implemented. Uh, on translation was done five years after publication uh, first version uh, and I still did not implement these uh, tables uh, which allow to construct integrals um, what what's the main idea uh, again we have <coughs> we have um, functions uh, which uh, after applying million transform uh, uh, produce many uh, gamma functions. And we need to collect these uh, functions. Uh, and in Mathematica, we have already Meiji form. Uh, let me demonstrate. Uh, I will show shortly. Meiji, not form, I uh, just... Uh, uh, use uh, something which merge reduce, no, for example, uh, sign. Yes, I type not very fast. <laughs> no, you see, we can convert uh, this uh, and uh, um, Activate, return back. Um, of course, uh, I'm ready to continue my uh, talks uh, and 
give several uh, lectures if you will want about uh, Mayer G, uh, Fox, about how to lead uh, integrals and how to apply this, uh, because again, integral equations, uh, fractional integral differentiations, uh, we made with uh, Parker Jane uh, several talks about this on conferences. Uh, all this I can uh, present uh, for you in future. Next question. Thank you, Oleg. Um, are there any other questions in, from the community? I don't see any right now. Maybe we give just a minute or two to see if more questions come up and then. Yes, uh, when questions appeared, uh, I will read and try to answer. No, in this case, thank you uh, for attention. Uh, we can uh, finish my voice <laughs> broken. I am sorry. <laughs>